I did want to bring this up because I, I think we need to to, to to shine a spotlight sometimes yes. on great things that's happening in our community. Obviously, we got a lot of stuff that's going on. It's really heavy. But when I see things like what I saw uh, in Massachusetts, a young lady, high school uh, valedictorian, she's giving a speech. She's going to Harvard, right? So she gives her speech and uh, then they have the awards. And uh, so she got uh, the highest honor for the award and it was a $40,000 scholarship, right? So she's sitting down in the audience while they're talking after she had gotten the scholarship and she's thinking, and uh, she goes back up on stage. I don't know if we have the sound of it. Do we have the sound of what she actually did? I think so. That's yeah, uh, she goes back up on the stage after her, uh, after her speech and she says this. I am so very grateful for this, but I also know that I am not the one who needs this the most. And knowing my mom went to community college and how much that was helpful, I would be so very grateful if administration would be consi um, would consider giving the general um, excellence scholarship to someone who's going to community college. Um, because I know it is such a great honor, but I also know that I am not the most in need of it. Wow. Wow. You I've know, never seen it happen before. I, I, I can't imagine also the pride her mother must have felt seeing her daughter mm -hmm. give in that way mm -hmm. as a parent, knowing what they had been through. Mm -hmm. You know, I was seeing an interview where she mm -hmm. talked about how her mom went back to school to community college at the age of 39 years mm -hmm. old. Uh, being an immigrant and giving immigrant. praise to the no. immigrants, yeah, you know, who were in the mm. also in the audience and other graduates, you know, she she's someone to me who already has made her mark, like that right there, mm -hmm. you made your mark, mm -hmm. and what you're yeah. going to do in the future, you know, we'll see, we'll keep keep folks posted. That's, she's Amazing. got a bright future. She was uh, voted most likely to be president, and after seeing something like that, she would definitely get my vote if she continues on that role. I mean, she worked in a grocery store during a pandemic the entire time, mm -hmm. obviously keeping her grades up. She's going to Harvard to give back that money, $40,000, $40, which by the way, didn't have to be used on tuition. She could have used that money any way she wanted to. She basically gave $40,000 back to the school, which the school is now going to in turn help other students who may need awesome. the money to go to college. And we were just talking about uh, college debt yesterday and mm -hmm. student loans and uh, we had somebody on the show so imagine how far that can go and how that's going to help somebody else because when you're in college when you're in school obviously you want to focus on the task at hand right. and that's graduating and getting a great education but if you're thinking about the amount of debt that you're accruing over a period of time it's kind of hard for you to kind of focus yeah. totally on what you need to do so her name is Verda Teta and uh, I just want to applaud her because mm -hmm. uh, she is someone in our community.